Hi it's Mike again. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about forms and how you can get contacts into your CRM through lead capture forms. So if you have a form on your website, whether it be a contact form or a inquiry form or just any little widget where you can have a form in there, then it makes sense to start capturing those contacts into your CRM. So this video will touch on the forms that Jetpack CRM supports. So I'll start off with the forms that are included with the plugin and then I'll be looking at Jetpack forms and then I'll also be looking at Contact Form 7 as well as Gravity Forms as the supported solutions and some of the things that you can do with each of those plugins. So let's get started. Jetpack CRM comes with forms as an option. So when you're setting up the CRM, you can have forms and these are held in the CRM area under forms. So again, you can get to it via tools and forms and then you can create a form. So these are very basic forms. And the idea here is you can just set up and you have three different options of how you want your form to look. So if we said something like sign up for updates, weekly newsletter, as it's built up, this will be what is shown on the form. And you can change the placeholders as well if you want as well. And also what you want the buttons to say. And then you can also have some things around a success message, a very simple short code, so you can decide which one you want. So simple is the default, but you could have just one that you embed in the content like this. So it'd just be in the middle of a post so you can write around it that way or if you want it a bit more detail so if you want to capture a message along with the first name and the last name then you can do it this way as well so the the reason we've kept these simple in the CRM is aiming for as many contacts to be converted into a lead as possible and then when they hit the CRM the CRM can be used to follow up with these contacts so we're not asking for too much information straight away we're just asking for the very bare minimal so if we do the naked style which is a very slimline form and then update that form and then you can use this form on various posts and pages so if I create a new page then I can do something like this And then we put the short code in that we had before. Publish the page. You'll see you can put the form in and it's very straightforward. So you can just say Mike and Mike at form.com. Hit sign me up. And then it can be used just to capture leads into the CRM through a very simple form that sits on any page. And then when I look at the contacts here, you'll see that it's added Mike at form.com. So it's added me from that form. So with this way, you can start collecting leads and start growing your contact list just through a simple CRM form that's built in. We have also the contact form from Jetpack. So again, you can do it this way and then you'll see there's a CRM integration for the form. So you can just quickly do that. So you can do various things with the form block and it, will, it can send emails, you can redirect it to another page, you can show a custom text message that just says thanks for signing up. So again the same concepts as before but now you have a different form again and this can be for example james, james at form.com. This is a message. So again, that contact is added to the CRM. So you can just again, click on James who we just added to the form. And that was through a Jetpack contact form, which it shows on here. And then if you click on the activity log, it tells you where the user was created from. And then the CRM operator can then go in and start working on nurturing this contact. The next way to capture leads is through the Contact Form 7 integration. So you need our Contact Form 7 extension for this, which is available from our website and the links will be below. So for this, you again, you can use the free Contact Form 7 plugin and then you need the Jetpack CRM Contact Form connector. So you can connect your CRM to the ease of use of the Contact Form 7. And again, exactly the same as before. So this one is Contact Form 7 instead and you can choose the form and then this gives you another farm here so it's a very simple way of doing it again so again we'll say so my start my contacts 
7.com it sent a message through you can see that that contact's been added as well and you can have as many forms throughout the crm as you need and then again this one will say captured through contact form 7. the additional things you can do for contact form 7 is you can add, again if you do a hidden status like this you can set the status of the contact coming in so you could have different forms could have different statuses you can map custom fields so if you have a something like a food where you wanted to capture what type of food preference they have you can do that through a custom field as long as the slug matches the same and you can also do tags so if you do a hidden tags field again you can tag contacts available through the forms that way so if you wanted if you had a particular page about pre-sales you could always tag those leads coming in that way with the pre-sale tag and then you could set up automations so there's a video coming up on screen about using automations to then just make things a little bit easier with the crm so you can have a form there which could be a pre-sale question and you could have the automation send an sms to a certain person so if you have a high value page maybe selling an enterprise plan then this form could automatically send an sms to somebody that's going to then reach out on a one-to-one -one basis and the same can be done if you have something like a a cancellation form so if someone submits a form to cancel their service or cancel their contract with you so if somebody fills in a form to cancel their contract with you then it can go through to a different team and that different team can then make a quicker call to make to try and make sure that that person doesn't leave for example And our final form solution is Gravity Farms. So you can create a Gravity Farm and you have a few more options in Gravity Farms. So you can have name, first and last, email. So you need email and you can have address fields as well. And as long as you have the hidden field of Jetpack CRM-add, then the CRM nodes to capture that Gravity Farm into your CRM. So it won't do every single farm. If you had some farms that you didn't want to go into the CRM, you could just keep those separate but otherwise as long as you've got jetpack crm dash add as a hidden field on that form then that will go into your crm so here's the page with the information on and we could do something like john crm so john at crm.com and just fill in the contact details that way so with gravity forms you can capture a little bit of additional information here so that form has been filled in and it was John CRM so you see that's been added through there and it's captured the address as well so there's a number of different ways of actually capturing contacts through those different form solutions so we have guides on our website so there's a couple of guides here one about setting up contact form 7 and one about setting up your gravity form so there's a few additional things that you can do. So I did a very straightforward name, email and address, but you can use custom fields. So if you have a custom field called website link, you can then capture that through the form as well, as long as you've got an admin label to match that slug. So in this example, it's website dash link, then your admin label would be that. If you wanted to set statuses, then again, you can do a field and again you can make that hidden field if you want if you want certain forms to come in with different statuses so you can do it this way so a default value customer you can also add tags so again if you do an admin field label jetpack crm tags and you can choose to have it hidden again if you want it to and putting in a default value will make sure it is added as a tag and finally you can do different ways of capturing phone numbers as well for this you have to have the, the home phone work phone and telephone and it will go into the relevant spot so that's quite a handy thing if you are capturing the contacts number so you want it to go into the home telephone and you can just quickly then contact the person on the back of the form submission so the final thing you can do with gravity farms is you can add product fields and you can set a price and quantity so, and you can sell jetpack crm to essentially make a invoice on the back of that farm data so you could have a simple form that says i'm selling tickets for my event how many do you want and then it'll pop you an invoice through and people can pay it through the crm so that's a super cool feature that using gravity farms has there so hopefully this video was useful if you like this video and want to see more videos please do hit the subscribe button and i will see you in a future video